Hello folks, um, this is a little update to my uh, Carpenter's Chest Toolbox uh, Refurbishment uh, series. I just had a successful uh, trip to the local um, charity shop, picked this uh, leather belt up for a pound. Um, it's a little bit on the short side for me. I don't know how many inches it is, but it just looks a little bit on the small side. Um, the reason I've picked this one, uh, I was really wanting a brown one, but well, black will do. Uh, there's no um, holes in it for uh, for the belt buckle. You know, normally the belt buckle has a, a I don't know, a, I don't know what you call it, just a pin for going through the belt. Uh, this one isn't of that variety, so uh, I've got a, a strip of leather. Uh, Without, without any holes in it. Now, it's a little bit wide, okay? I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, here is the here is the um, the clamp for the the handle on the the chest. Now, it's just a little bit wide. The belt will fit in there, yeah. But I can trim that with a pair of scissors or a sharp Stanley or something like that, yeah. It's not too bad. It's also a uh, the right thickness because I'm wanting this to be a uh, basically doubled over and have the the metal a uh, reinforcing strap between the two um, uh, layers of leather and even then it will still um, well I won't be able to display this very well with one hand but even then it's easily going to a comp you know the the clips or the for the belt will easily accommodate a uh, two layers of the, the the strap so uh, it's almost the ideal size just the color was a bit off but hey i'm not worried about that it's just going to, it's just a workman's chest yeah so um that's that um i'm going to remove the belt buckle i'm going to trim the 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 leather down by maybe you know two or three millimeters and then it'll be cut to length and fitted to the the, the chest so that's a job for this weekend uh, hopefully i'll get that done and um I also managed to source a bit of uh, ply board. Uh, we've got a, a, a piece here. Um, it's not pine, unfortunately, but I'm hoping it'll it'll varnish up not too bad. Um, so yeah, I got it cheap, so I can't complain. And so, like I say, it's only for an old box, right? So that's all for now, folks. Um, Till next time. Bye for now. Okay, so uh, I've got the, the leather um, cut now. Um, I'm just about to, ready to fit it. So what we have here is the, you know, they've got the two holes, that's the position of them. The first leather strap goes on there like so, and that seems to fit reasonably nicely. Then we have the, um, the reinforcing um, strap of metal and then the the final um, strap of leather and that comprises the handle so I'm going to put that together now and I'll be back in a moment see you soon okay folks uh, that's the the handle fitted um, here is the um, well I'm assuming it was the original one, but it was the one that came on the box. So, um, you know, you can see um, the general idea of what I did there with the, the leather belt. And, you know, each each uh, part of the leather belt is uh, a lot thicker than, than that was. So, uh, it doesn't quite, um, it'll work, it'll work as a handle perfectly uh, it's quite comfortable um, I think that's going to be able to, to carry any weight that I put into the box I think the box itself will collapse before the handle does uh, it doesn't quite lie flat as it's intended now that's because of two things one uh, I had a little bit of trouble um, uh, removing the leather into a sort of smooth 
a oval shape like what we can see there. Uh, I drilled three holes and then I tried to basically cut and file it as smooth as possible but there are li little ridges left on the, um, the handle um, slots. So that's going to be catching. Also I didn't like how this was so close to the edge so I, I cut the, the leather straps slightly longer you know I've got about maybe 10 mil at the back of the slot so that's going to prevent it from fully flattening out which is a pity because it does look better when it's um, lying flat but I think most of the time it's going to be fine just like that so um, job job done next is to get the um, plyboard cut and fitted to the base get the, the base varnished and then I'll start working on the lid okay folks that's um, all for now until um, next time hope you well and see you soon bye for now